Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about your resume. Uh, how to create a resume that will be attractive for online, um, online companies. So, my job uh, for a long time was to go through hundreds and hundreds of resumes and pick out uh, pick out teachers who I thought were suitable for positions and then put them through interviews. So I've looked at thousands, literally thousands of resumes. So I know exactly what the companies are looking for when they go through them. Uh, first, probably no surprise, but it may be, they generally don't read your resume. Uh, if you're writing these wrong, long detailed introductions about your life and your uh, personal experiences, they're not going to read it and they're not going to care. Uh, most of these, uh, this is when I'm talking about applying for these big companies. Applying for smaller companies, they may be the more interested, but uh, for these big large companies that are going through numbers and numbers, the person interviewing you and giving you the job is just a, a worker whose job is to process applications and just go through a system. Um, they're looking for certain things, I can tell you what those are. So uh, I've also included in this course lots and lots of uh, resume templates that you can use uh, and a link to a website where you can go in and edit that uh, online on a really great uh, piece of software called Canva. Uh, so I do recommend Canva. It's free of course um, but there is a paid version as well which I, I use the paid version because you get loads of tons of features but anyway you can design your resume on there for free and there's tons of templates that I've put on there uh, and that I've included in this course too. I've included in this course uh, some templates that I've done and I've adapted for online teaching a little bit too. So what's important in a resume? First, big picture of yourself, looking looking sharp, looking clean, looking well-groomed at the top uh, left of your resume, big picture. Second, your name in big bold at the top uh, and your nationality. Um, get your nationality up there at the front. Don't try and hide it um, because if they a lot of companies hire only specific nationalities uh, and if they don't find out till later that you're not the nationality that they're looking for um, They won't hire you so you're just wasting your own time. So get that up there at the top Also include at the top your phone number plus your country code and your Skype uh, Skype username you haven't got a Skype, set one up uh, and put your username there. It's really important to have Skype as that's often the first point of contact that these companies use. Obviously have your email up there too. Then under that, what's the first bit of information you need? You want a really short three or four sentence introduction about yourself. That's it. Then under there, you're going to have first education. Don't put Tons of shit. The only thing they're looking for is have you got a degree, have you got a TEFL? If you've got both, put them there. If you've only got one, put it there. Put it in big bold. Uh, other things aren't really important. Your high school diploma, your GCSEs, your A-levels, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, any teaching related qualifications, put there. That's it. Everything else, just leave it blank. Have it in bold. TEFL, degree, or if you don't have a degree, just TEFL. 120 hour TEFL, full course accredited. Um, okay, under then, you want your work experience. Now, they don't care about anything that's unrelated to teaching. They don't care if you, if you gained leadership skills at your uh, position at, at Walmart as a manager. They, they don't care. They want to know what's your teaching experience, that's it. These are for non-native speakers of English going through these resumes. So they're just looking for key words, key points. So um, if you've taught online before, put online teaching experience, company name, experience. Then put offline teaching experience, company name, experience. Now do be careful. If you've worked for a competitor of this company, uh, for example, if your company is a Chinese company that focuses on one-to-one -one classes with kids, and you used to teach for another ch big Chinese company that focuses on one-to-one -one lessons with kids, don't say you work for the competitor. Um, you're probably best leaving it out. S a lot of Chinese companies are super paranoid about spies 
that are going to come into the companies and weird things like that. So um, I would recommend just leaving it out. Don't lie, just leave it out. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's it. That's your resume. Then under there you can have a few other things, your skills, maybe your hobbies, uh, and that's it. That's all you want in a resume. One page. You don't want four or five pages stitched together. Uh, you want one page. And you want to keep it separate from uh, your degree. One thing I hate is people who will send one PDF, and the PDF will have like the resume, two pages, then it'll have like two pages of teaching certificates and a degree page, and then your transcripts, and then some other random unrelated thing and you're scrolling down and uh, people who are going through thousands of applications hate this really hate it so uh, just one nice crisp page templates are included really modern 2020 style really nice uh, templates for resumes have included in this course uh, use them and you will succeed okay that's it for uh, this part in the next part or the next video I'm going to talk about creating your intro video creating a really great intro video uh, and I'm also going to include some uh, links to examples of this too all right I'll see you in the next video